What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David. And if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Happy New Year's. I'm actually working a shift. I made this video on New Year's Eve. And you guys really wanted me to do a review on Raytheon Technologies, RTX stock. These guys have a rich tradition. They have consistent dividend increases. And it's all about the muscle, the military might, the technology. Raytheon is a very interesting stock. And I'm going to do a review on these guys. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Let's check this stock out right now. The Raytheon is sitting at $86.06. The symbol is RTX. It has a dividend yield of 2.37%, a PE ratio of 39.22, a volume of 5.18 million US dollars. Market cap is 128.81 billion US dollars. Its year range was 6502 to 9232. Its day range was 8550 to 8618. So these guys have not done too hot against the S&P. But these guys are an amazing company, and I really enjoy doing this uh, review with you guys. It's uh, very interesting. It's a, it's a powerful company. I have to show you guys this stuff. I'm on their website real quick, and at this moment, there's a new rover on Mars and a long-term plan to send people here. Our sustainable aviation efforts are making blue skies bluer, and our defense systems are reaching our way into space to perfect. Here's just some things. They have some smarter defense systems providing operational advantage against new and emerging threats. We'll look into that in a little bit. Safe and more connected flight, we'll look at that in a second, intelligent space technologies. But the biggest thing is the muscle, the defense systems. Let's check this out. So they draw on decades of investment in technology that protect our world. Here are just some examples. 40,000 pounds of thrust produced by the F-135 fighter engine. Coverage delivered by the radar. Defeat next generation threats. 670 lives saved by the ACES family in ejection seats, 4 million flight hours logged collecting intelligence data by our multi-spectral targeting system. So again, this is the important thing. It's about the muscle, military might. That's a big thing with these guys. There's a few other things that I'll go over. So here's some things with flights. 450 million gallons of fuel saved by the GTF engine-powered aircraft saves money. That's pretty attractive. 66% of the world's airspace managed by our systems. 66%. So that's pretty impressive. 99.97 of particles, including viruses, removed by our HIPAA air filtration systems for airplanes. Gee, that's a big deal right now because of the bug. Zero-touch solutions to move passengers through airports with minimal contact. All right. So that's very impressive that they carry. So that's what we want to see as consumers and investors with the company. There's one more thing I want to address. And now we're talking about space and discussing space. 200 plus spacewalks in their spacesuits. 100% of the Department of Defense information assurance of the standards implemented in the GPS OCX, the highest level of cyber protection for any Department of Defense. Say DOD real fast three times and you see how I sound. Space system. 90% of all Department of Defense commercial space launches supported by Raytheon Technologies. 50% years of ex experience supporting space exploration. You got three things. You got safety, okay? Safety on airplane, okay? Filtration, that's what people want to hear. Investors want to hear. Filtration, HIPAA, you know, the bugs in the air. You're trying to filter that. Space. Defense, Department of Defense really likes these guys. It appears that they like them. And I'm not giving financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in, in the description, but my gosh. And they got the military backing up. Oh, so they're getting money flowing. Okay, they're getting a bunch of cash flow. And I'll show you how much revenue they're making. And this is in millions of US dollars. So 2014, 57, 000, 56, 57, 59, 34,000. That was a big dip in 2018. 2019, 45,000. And 2020, 56,000. So again, you need defense. Defense is huge. So these guys are getting money, obviously, or else nobody would invest in them. Or... um. You know, they're just, they have a great reputation. Their technology and their products back everything up. So that's what you want to see is consumers and what you want to see as investors 
are there products working? Are there products in demand? I'm going to say absolutely after looking at some of their reviews and just some of their products. Again, it's all about the muscle, the aerospace, the military. Okay, those two things, space and military, you got to flex. I mean, you're in the United States, you got to flex. And if you want to flex, you got to be with excellent companies like Raytheon Technologies. Let me show you their dividend history. So here's their dividend history. In 2020, they were 73 cents. Then you can blame the pandemic card. 47 cents. Then they're jumping up slowly to 51 cents. They have a PE ratio of 39, annual dividend of $2.04, dividend yield of 2.37%, and it's sitting at $86.03. So they're going to distribute dividends. That's one thing that makes them attractive. But me, again, I'm not giving financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. I... I don't, I'm not feeling it yet. I mean, a lot of you guys like these guys as dividend stocks and as a dividend stock in the military and all that. Um, I don't know yet. I, I really, I'm not feeling it yet. I mean, I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. You know, don't quote me on this. I could, could be right. It could be wrong. But, you know, it's, it's one that I'm going to look into. I'm just going to study it. I think it's a really strong company. But I want to see consistent dividend increases. 2.37% is the dividend yield. I like 3 to 5% dividend range. So uh, I'm going to say, for me, I'm going to just keep an eye on it. On it. And maybe it's maybe in the middle of my pack of like stocks to, that I'm considering buying. Some people like it. Some people love it. And I'm just, I'm a little iffy on it. So let me know what you think of this stock. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. I pretty much did a speed run on this one. You guys take care and have a good one.